Let's write an equation using the table of values that are given. Uh, so step one is to take any two points from the table uh, to plug into the slope formula. In many cases, the first and the last points are the best points to plug in because they give you more an accurate uh, picture of how uh, the data changed over a period of time. So I'm going to go ahead and take the first and the last points and plug them into the slope formula, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. When we plug those points in, it's going to look like so. So on top, we have 11 take away 3, which is 8. And on the bottom, 5 take away 1 is 4. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. So we have here a slope of 2. So to write our line, it's going to be y equals 2. And remember, you always put an x there in the back of a slope. And now we need to find the y-intercept. Um, generally, you can find the y-intercept by simply uh, plugging in the slope and one ordered pair from your table into the y equals mx plus b or the point slope form. But since that's the next video in my series, I'm going to use an alternative method for finding the y-intercept. So one method is you can compare um, your values of y uh, to your values of 2x here. Uh, so I'm going to redraw the table and leave a space for 2x. And so here I have all of my values of x, and I'm going to multiply with them the number of 2. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. Now if we look at our values of 2x, and our values of y. It went from 2 to 3. That was an increase by 1. Well, we can look and see, did that, is that the same case for the rest of the numbers in your sequence? Yes, it is. Plus 1 give you that value of y. So all we need to do then, notice that the difference between y and 2x was 1, is simply just add 1 to our equation. So our equation then is y equals 2x plus 1.